So uh, I'm here with Alex from Asmodee, the organised play organiser. <laughs> organised play manager for Europe. Yeah. Organised play manager for Europe um, at the Five Rings pre-release event honoured in London. Yep. So Alex, would you like to tell us a little bit about what you've got up and coming in terms of organised play? Up and coming, wow. Um, so yeah, we've got a lot of cool stuff coming. Obviously, uh, we've just announced the ticket opening window for the registration for Worlds. Uh, which will incorporate Legend of the Five Rings. So they will have their Winter Court, which is the, uh, their equivalent to the World Championships, alongside the other non-Star Wars games. So you'll have uh, Game of Thrones and Runner there as well. Um, and Moon Wars, I believe, is going to be there in some capacity as well. So, yep, that's all exciting. Uh, we've obviously got the launch of L5R coming up. Uh, that is later, coming up in October, just over a month away. And with that, we've got the launch kit. So stores are able to sign up for the launch kit. It runs all the way through to December, so it's actually three events in one launch. Uh, and then that will tie in a little bit with Worlds as well. So that will become apparent as you go to the events and how that ties in and how the roles will filter down to store level like, straight away. Uh, and that's really exciting, ready to gear up for 2018 when we really hit the ground running with Legend of the Five Rings and uh, OP series. Okay. Uh, now one of the things we're doing differently at this event at Gen Con is how games which run to time are being yes. resolved in Five Rings. <laughs> uh, what can you tell us about that? Well, it's, it's a very similar method to what we did at Gen Con, but we, we've found a system whereby what we found at Gen Con is you get to time uh, and everyone's so engrossed with the game that they're loving what they're doing, they don't realize they probably can't win. And a modified win only gains the win, the, the, the guy wins three points as opposed to five. So actually, if you lose, you get zero either way, and it's better to concede and give your opponent five points and go all the way through and only three, because that affects your strength of schedule, which is the first tiebreaker in the rankings. So what we've done is we've refined it a little bit, we've changed the points allocation for Broken Provinces, Honor, and Real Favor. And we found a system whereby basically if you're five points ahead, so it's, it's two points for each province you've broken, two points if you're the most honorable, and then it's a point if you've got Imperial Favor. And if you're five points ahead, we're basically saying you have won. Your opponent should be conceding. Now, this is the opportunity where the opponent can actively say, I think I can still win. And then pull a judge aside and explain why they think they can still win. And the judge will allow them to finish that, that turn as opposed to saying that is over. Uh, and then if you're not five points difference, then it's up to each player to they get an opportunity to concede. Uh, and in which case, give the opponent a 5 0 win. Uh, if neither player wants to concede, they're allowed to carry on and finish that turn. And then that is their opportunity to concede over. So they can no longer concede even later on. And so it will be a modified win to whoever wins that one. So it kind of gives uh, the players an opportunity to go, actually, is it my interest now to just concede and accept that I can't win this match? Or is there only one point in it? If I steal the Imperial Favor, is that enough? Is the guy on one honor? Can I actually win this outright? and give them that thought process to then decide if they're going on and they can call a judge over and make sure it's moderated. So we've been trialing it. We are running to time, which is really good. <laughs> so I think this tweak is going to be good for now. Now, these tiebreakers that we did at Gen Con and here aren't necessarily going to be what we use for the final game when, when people have three copies of the game. These formats for the Kiki Matsuri season, which is Gen Con and here at L5 are Honored, uh, is very much tailoring the OP program to work for one core set which obviously isn't what the game's gonna be when you get more product out there. So it's a little bit different. You may see this change again. Uh, it's a living card game. There are gonna be a few little tweaks, I'm sure, as we refine the process. But from what happened today and how things have been working, I feel like we've got a happy compromise for the one course set format. Okay, brilliant. Thank you very much, Alex. Uh, have a good afternoon. I'll let you get back to your tournament. Thanks. Cheers. <laughs>